Hi everybody, it's Ollie Wedgwood here and uh, this is the first video in a two-part series on how to download, store and play and um, alter the tempo of play along MP3 audio tracks for your iPad or your iPhone. Uh, there's been a lot of confusion about this and uh, this is one way that I, uh, that I use which seems to work quite well and it's free. So in this first part, we're going to look how we can download an MP3 backing track from a website. And um, we're going to use a, an app called File Manager. You just see the icon here. I've already downloaded it from the App Store. Uh, so the App Store, if you look it up, it's called File Manager and it's by Tap Media Limited. And it's available in both uh, US and UK um, I, um, app stores. So once you've opened that, it's free to download. Um, you can now, let's open it up. And you can see that it's uh, it's got a, a, an area called documents. You do get some adverts here. You can always buy the, um, uh, the sort of pro version to get rid of the adverts if you want. And uh, you can make your own folders. So I've made a, a folder called MP3 backing tracks uh, by pressing the, the plus button there. I can create a folder, I can add other files, photos, videos, um, and uh, this one's the one we're going to be using, add file from web. So we're going to tap that, and this is a browser, so it's like Safari, but it's a browser within the File Manager app. So let's say um, we want to go and download a, um, a, a free play along track from Ollie's Piano Sheets. Dot com and so let's go to contents okay so here we go here are the contents page at Ollie's piano sheets and uh, I'm gonna go and take a look at um, let's see um, dance of the electric pineapples okay so here's the sheet music and at the bottom of the page you'll find the download the backing track and it's a free download in this case so I'm gonna click on that and the file manager app automatically detects whether it's a, a downloadable file and asks you if you'd like to download it. So we say, yes, we do. We want to download the, um, the MP3. And so which folder shall we put it in? Um, you can just save it as it is here, or you can put it into the MP3 backing tracks. I've already got some other files here. So I'm going to uh, save that. Alternatively, I could go back and make a new folder and call it something else. New folder, return, and then add it to that, and then save in the new folder. So that's great. So then I can press the done button up here, and uh, there it is, there's my uh, documents in the file manager app. I can press folder and uh, the dance of the electric pineapples. If I want to play that, I just tap it. And so it'll start to play the audio track. Great, as we pause that. So that's the end of this first part of the video. Um, the second part, we're gonna see how we can um, take this backing track, this audio file, and put it into a new app called AnyTune, and we can slow or speed up that uh, MP3 backing track to our heart's content. So I'll see you in the next video.